Hey everybody, welcome back to Full Watch 2020, Episode 3. I'm Sherry Shavinsky with the Merritt County Extension Office. Thanks for tuning in. WOW has just come off her eighth week uh, on her countdown to her foaling date of May 27th. And if you remember in last week's video, we talked about WOW's body condition score. And we scored her at a 7, and that was the number that I wanted to keep her at. If you remember, the body condition score is a scale from 1 to 9, with 1 being poor and 9 being obese. We want most of our horses to be at a 5. That's the moderate level right there in the middle. But for our mares that are getting ready to have a foal in the spring, we like to have those at a 7. Because remember what I said, that mare is going to lose a lot of weight after that baby's born, once that baby is nursing and has a lot of nutritional requirements of its own so that it can grow. So how do we get that mare to that seven on the scale? Well, the bottom line is nutrition. It's all about good quality nutrition. First rule of thumb when it comes to feeding horses is we have to remember that forage is always first. Everything falls back to the forage, okay? We want good quality hay that they can have access to um, pretty much all day long, really, in a way. Horses are grazing animals, and their digestive system works that way. Their stomachs get very acidic if we don't have enough food in there all the time, which can cause to digestive trouble. So we want to have hay in front of them a good portion of the day if they aren't out on pasture and able to free graze on their own. Okay? We, though, like to hand feed our horses. <clears throat> the second rule of thumb is to make sure that you always feed your feed based on weight, not by volume, okay? We don't want to take just a bucket and fill it with so much feed and just throw it out there and say, well, because this is an eight-quart bucket, we know it's going to hold eight quarts of feed, but we don't know how much that feed weighs, okay? So that's why you need to weigh it. We weigh all of our feed on a scale. This is just an antique scale that we have. And you'll see that it's actually set back. It's not on the zero number there. And there's a reason for that, because we put our bucket on there, and we see our bucket weighs about a pound. Is that right? OK. So when we go to add our feed, we're up to zero. And I have just a cup of feed here. And are we at a pound? Looks like we're at a pound, right? So now I know that this bucket contains one pound of feed, okay? So we feed an alfalfa and other forage-based feed that our horses get every single day. It is a great source of fiber, and it's a 14% protein feed. Uh, this particular one is an 8% fat. Uh, really good feed for a horse in wow's condition to keep her where she needs to be. Uh, and to add that extra weight. So we're really pleased with that. So we're, let's go check out WOW now. Let's see how she's doing this week and we'll take our measurement and we're going to give you a 360 view of WOW this time. So hang on just a second and let's go check out WOW. Okay, so here's Jet Set and WOW. We just brought her in from outside. And we're going to talk just a little bit more about nutrition and why, why it is so important to horses. Well, first of all, horses have a very delicate digestive system. Horses can be prone to colic or just stomach upset, so we want to be very careful of what we feed our horses. Do you have any idea how long the horse's digestive system is? Would you say it's 20 feet long? Maybe, maybe 30 feet long, uh, 100 feet long, or 75 feet long. What would your answer be? Well, if you said 100 feet, you would be correct. And 100 feet, boy, that's, how do I get that in my head of really how long that is? Well, think about the Nebraska Huskers football field, and think from the goal line to the 30 third yard line and that's a hundred feet so that is how long wow's digestive system is it has all kinds of parts in there from the intestine to the colon the cecum 
all kinds of stuff that's more detailed than we can go into here. So we need to make sure that we're feeding her correctly so that she stays nice and healthy. So what's the other reason why that proper nutrition is so important for a mare while she's in fall? Well, some research has shown that the ultimate height of a horse is decided by the nourishment they receive during gestation. Wow, that's a big thing right there. And once the foal is born, genetics do play a big part, but so does the nutrition and the growth and the development. So again, the nutrition really comes into play on those growing foals, and it's very, very important. Foals will attain approximately about 90% of their mature height and about 75% of their mature weight just in the first 12 months of their life, okay? So let's take a look at WOW here just a little bit. Hannah's going to help me out here, and she's going to take a 360 view of WOW for us. I am. <laughs> yeah, she is. So let, let's take a look at WOW's belly there again. She looks a little bit bigger this week, don't you think? So Hannah, why don't you just walk on around WOW and get a good shot of her from behind. And let's stop and let's look at this part right here. Do we see how much of that is sticking out right there? That's all baby right there. That's for sure. And she's starting to hang a little bit lower. Uh, wow, I was a little bit more uncomfortable this last week. I could tell she's a little more irritable. The baby's been moving quite a bit. So she's starting to get to that point where she's going to be ready for this foal to be born. So... Hannah, come on around over here and show her from this side. From this side. So we, can, we never get to see this side when we've been in the stall so far. And we're going to come walk around back over here. And one of the things that we're starting to notice now at this point in her pregnancy, come on back this way, Hannah, it's particularly in the evenings, that we're starting to see some swelling in her udder. So we're going to just show you a little bit of shot of that. It's Things are starting to fill up a little bit down there. Not on a whole lot, but just a little bit. So we know that we're working on our, our reaching our time here. So Wow's looking at us, and she says, it's time to measure me again this week. So we're going to do that, and we're going to see how she comes out this week. So we pull out our trusty tape. And hopefully she'll stand here for us. We get the tape around her. Oh, she's getting wider. It's harder to reach. To grab it. So I'm going to pull it back. Does that look about right? Is that where we were? So where are we at? Looks like we're about 94 inches. Right? Okay, so she didn't change too much from last week, did she? All right. We'll put 94 inches on our chart and we'll check it and see where we are. So there's another week gone by. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you next week and we'll see how things look after week seven. Bye.